Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Turla, the state surgeon for the VFW of the Department of Minnesota, and I have a great honor today to introduce to you Joseph Shermers from St. Cloud, who is currently the district sergeant at arms and also 56 years as the VFW sergeant and now retired. And today we'll be talking about Mr. Shermer's attempts over the years to raise money for the Veterans Art Project at the Veterans Cemetery in Little Falls. And I have the honor today of introducing Joe Shermers uh, for his memories and his hard work that he put together in raising funds for the Veterans Art Project at the Minnesota Veterans Cemetery in Little Falls. So, uh, Joe, I'd like to ask you, first of all, tell me a little bit about your background, where you grew up. Uh, thanks, Jim, for the introduction. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Uh, so, Joe, were you drafted into the Army, or did you enlist? Yes, I was drafted. They wanted me to go to uh, to uh, uh, with the, the Camp Ripley, I mean, with, those, with the team that left on the 17th, the National Guard. But I said, no, I'm just, uh, if you want me, you got to come and get me. So uh, that's how it so then I went through basic training, went over to Korea. I was over there from June 51 through uh, September 4th, 1952. So then I come back from there. They had me in Camp McCoy, Wisconsin for about three weeks. Then they sent me home and I was discharged. So then I joined uh, uh, the Air Force for a while on outside bases. And uh, so uh, then from there on, I. I got married in um, 1950, uh, 1954, the uh, June 30th. So, Joe, what was your military occupation specialty in the Army? Uh, because I've uh, worked for the railroad, uh, I uh, was three years as a lineman for the Burlington Northern. So when I got over to there, they put me in the an outfit that we, we laid wires. And uh, so then uh, when I, I was about, so then I got hurt and then uh, they put me in the mess hall for, for about three months. And then they sent me over to Japan for mess steward school. So I was there for six weeks. And then I went back and I run the officer's mess hall. We had 27 officers that took care of. So I was there for until I got shipped back on October 16th when I was out. So. All right, Joe, you mentioned that after you got out of the Army and back to Minnesota, you joined the Air Force. Why did you do that? Because I was supposed to supposed to uh, do another year or something, and so I thought uh, I'd, I'd like to be in the Air Force uh, Reserve. For a job after your time in the military, where did you do most of your work? Well, when I come back, because I quit the month before, well, I got, went in Korea, I thought, well, I was going to be killed while I was over there. So I stayed alive and everything. So then I come back, and I said my life would be donated to helping people because I was an orphan, and so I figured the best thing I can do is help others too. So uh, so my wife really raised the family. And uh, so I done went to Dell. We traveled for 53 years doing work in the Veterans of Foreign Wars and uh, and um, I was appointed tricap in a tricap office. I done the United Way, and I raised uh, when I got uh, then they started the VFW on the East Side. Then I got involved there, so we started with 187 members, and uh, so I'm still there. I know you're well recognized in the community, Joe, for your volunteering, and you've done thousands of hours for volunteering. How many hours did you volunteer at the VA hospital? A little over 50, about 51 thousands. That's, that's incredible. And then I know you've raised a lot of funds for different activities in the VFW. And what made you want to get involved in the art project up at Little Falls? Well, El Air called me and he said, I'm going to Little Falls to pick up meat. So then we got to Little Falls, he drove by and I said, uh, where are we going? Oh, he said, didn't I tell you? I said, no, you never tell me where we're going. And uh, so we went to the cemetery, and we went into the meeting, and the committee 
was uh, ask Al, what, uh, what can you do to help us? Because we need someone to get started. We can't seem to get off the ground. And he said, I don't do that. He said, Joe takes care of that. He raises money for department and stuff. So that's how I got involved. So that was 2009. So how much money did you raise for the art project at Camp Ripley? Uh, I gave 10000 myself, and uh, I raised uh, close to, uh, I think it was 110000 And if I would have got everything that was promised to me, I'd have raised like 135000 But uh, I, I got by with uh, 110000 but there must have been something about this project that moved you to dedicate so much time and energy to this specific project for the VFW. What, what was it about this project that really touched you to make sure you wanted to help it out as most of you can? Well, since I run the state projects for the Veterans of Foreign Wars for, since I, for about 15 years, raised money for them, then I said, um, well, the only way we can honor people is by making these prints, and uh, so there'll be a long uh, standing for it. wives and women that come in know what we done while we were in the service, and um, so I'm on the board up there now since 19 uh, since 2009, and uh, I'm, I got elected one of the officers, and. Uh, I believe this project is so great, I think it should be taught in the schools. So they would not, what we got now is eight by 10 projects, five of them, all the services. And uh, now we're making just a somewhat little smaller. We want to get them in all the schools so they can uh, tell the kids uh, what the veterans are really doing. That's incredible, Joe. I didn't know that was part of it. I know they're going to put some in the convention center here in St. Cloud, and I was happy to hear that. But what was your first impression when you met the artist Charles Kapsner? Well, I, I thought he was one of the best painters that was around, and he was good, and he was good to me, and so uh, he enticed me to do it, so I did. So that's why I went out and did it, so. So you've been in contact with uh, Charlie, uh, who I call affectionately my friend, for the entire project. You've yeah. been up there many times and uh, talked with him a lot about it. Uh, what was it specifically? Was it the branch of service that you were involved in, or did you just like all five of the paintings? I thought we should have all five of them, to recognize everybody that did serve their country. So in the Armed Forces, in the Navy, the Air Force, and Seabees. And, so. and I know your wife has been involved in a lot of these projects also. Was she uh, happy to see you get involved in this project as active as you were? Well, she said uh, she didn't want me to take on any more, but uh, so now she said, no more. So so I just got elected a little false <laughs> again. So I, I enjoy my work and... Uh, I want to give my life to helping other people. That's the only way I can do it. And, and how old are you now, Joe? I'm uh, 91. April, April 29, I'll be 92. That's, that's simply incredible for someone who at that age can do as much as you do uh, over the years volunteering and helping other people. And I know you said that was your life's purpose. But you've held other positions with the VFW and in the community. What were some of those other jobs that you've had and you've been involved with? Well, I've been surgeon for 15 years, and I've been, uh, no, 19 years, I'm sorry, 19 years. And uh, I was uh, chaplain for 15 years. And the reason I had that, because... Uh, the other ones said they had some real chaplains, but they would never stay within the prayers that uh, that uh, VFW puts out from national. So, and um, so I enjoyed that. And before, and in nineteen earlier, I served as uh, ten years as sergeant at arms. So, and then uh, when I got to the convention at the Big Ten, and they said uh, we need a sergeant at arms. Well. He mentions 10 times and nobody go up and the says, get up there, you can do it. So that's how I get started. So 
Then I worked uh, at National for two terms. I gave my time, and uh, they, and so finally I got appointed. Bob Hanson from South St. Paul appointed me to be assistant. So, and how long were you assistant sergeant at arms for the VFW? Fifty six years. Fifty six years in the in National. Uh, fifty six years at the Big Ten that covers ten states, and forty six years I was the department. And 61 years in the Sergeant Arms in the 6th District. That's, that's incredible, Joe, that with all those injuries, you continued working as long as you could. And even today, at almost 92 years old, you and Esther still pick up uh, food and deliver it, what, two or three days, days a week? week? To the Port Plyer Sisters, yeah, we do uh, that. Uh, I love that work, so I just want to keep on volunteering and help. And we work at some at the VFW every day too. So, yeah. So, any final comments about the project of Little Falls and the ceremony when they finally dedicated the last print? Uh, any thoughts about that? Yeah, it was a it was a nice ceremony, and I'm I'm glad the thing was done because uh, before 2009, I could raise two hundred thousand dollars, you know, but uh, after 2009, everything fell apart. And uh, the money come in slow after that, see, so. But they reached their goal and everything no, is up now. And so many families are going to be appreciative of those five uh, paintings up there uh, as they attend their father's or husband's or son's uh, memorial services. Yeah, there's uh, 7,022 people buried at the cemetery at the present time, so. Yeah, and that's where... And that's where my wife and I plan on being buried also in the, in the columbarium uh, there. Uh, so it's a beautiful cemetery, and I think uh, the paintings have just added so much to uh, that cemetery, and I think people are going to come from all over to see those paintings. Absolutely. Yeah, they, that's, that's what will happen. And uh, on weekends, we have people go up there... Uh, and open the place up so people, when they come to see their loved ones, they can come in and see the paintings. So, yeah, that's really, really neat. And Joe, uh, we, the veterans of Minnesota, can't thank you enough for what you did to raise the funds for that project and your involvement over the last 10 years with that project. And uh, I think you should have your own special plaque up there for everything you did. Thank you. I think what impressed me the most about some of those paintings was the work that Charlie put into it with models of veterans from Minnesota, but also uh, with my uncle, an Iwo Jima veteran, having sand from Iwo Jima put into that painting was just simply an incredible artistic uh, addition. Yeah, now we, now, uh, now what really I stayed on the board was because uh, we want to get them paintings in the schools. So the teachers can teach these people what's going on in the service. Uh, a lot of people don't don't know. So I think this is a great uh, project to get people to know what's going on. So. And I know you'll help with that as long as you can. So Absolutely. thank you for coming in today, Joe. Thank you for being a part of this interview. And uh, I hope that thousands of people get to hear the Joe Shermer story. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate what you've done for me, too. So. All right, Joe. Thank you.